Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in today's second video. Go to have a look at the ECF Dev Extended Bowl for today's uh, second video. So it's Tuesday, which means it's time to bring you our uh, European outlook for the next four weeks. Actually, it's a six weeks outlook, really, because um, uh, we will extend out to weeks five and six. But primarily, this is like a 30 day forecast for uh, Europe. And I should get on that for you very should just, just say about the first video released today. Uh, was our very quick uh, 7 a.m. upload, just having a quick forecast for the next uh, few days. And we can have a 10 to 14 day with all regular features for you uh, later on this afternoon. If you enjoy the content, please like, share, and subscribe. We say to everybody for doing that. And uh, thank you so much to ecfwf.int for supplying uh, the chart. So we're going to begin with the uh, week one mean sea level pressure anomaly for uh, Europe. So the coming week will have a trough of low pressure uh, across northern Europe from Scandinavia going down into northeastern uh, parts of Europe. Have, it'll have a ridge of high pressure around the northwest of Europe, around the UK and Ireland. That will extend down into some central western parts of uh, the Med. And then low pressure towards uh, Spain and Portugal and then out into the Atlantic. So quite a complicated path that the jet stream and wind flow Probably going to be doing something uh, a little bit like that. It means that most of the cellular conditions would like to be uh, sort of in the east of the north. East Europe, the driest conditions like to be in the northwest. Also, it could be quite unsettled down towards uh, Spain. Uh, so there's the 500 millibar high. Donny, there it is, right? So the uh, week uh, one 500 millibar high to normally from the 19th to the 26th of April shows us up quite nicely as well with higher pressure above average heights, higher pressure to our west northwest, lower pressure to our east and northeast and towards Spain as well. It means that we are probably going to pull in quite a chilly sort of uh, northerly wind across the western part of uh, Europe and especially so from these northeast and east areas and about trough of low pressure could actually be quite cold. Uh, temperature anomaly for week one uh, looks like that. So a uh, little bit mild average extreme northeast of uh, Europe into the northwest of Russia and down here in the far southwest as well, taking from the Black Sea down into Turkey. Uh, also a little bit mild average through uh, northern part of Spain and Portugal, but otherwise it's it's a cold average week coming up again as it has been so often over the past few. Uh, weeks and months. So from Scandinavia and the UK and Ireland in the far north, all the way down sort of Italy and even into sort of the northern shores of North Africa, uh, looking a little bit colder than average. And particularly chilly through the central and western parts of Europe, so from like eastern France, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, Germany, eastwards, um, you know, really quite significantly colder than average where if we put on the uh, put on the uh, scale, um, so so we've got those darker blue colours here and there. That's going to between around three and six degrees below average. So it is a very significantly cold average week for the central and western parts of Europe. Precipitation wise, uh, it looks like that. So driving average in the west and the northwest, most of these uh, western parts of Europe coming out driving average from Germany all the way back to Ireland, uh, although Spain and Portugal wetter than average through there. And generally above average precipitation in the east and the northeast of Europe uh, as well. And of course, as it's so cold, some of that will be wintry uh, precipitation, especially the further north you happen to go. Could well be some late season snowfalls across some parts of northern European weekend. In the Mediterranean, uh, so Spain and Portugal are going to be wetter than average. Some parts of southern Italy, wetter than average, and over towards some of the Greek islands as well. Um, in the central part of Med, looks a little bit unsettled. So it is a rather unsettled week to come, actually, down in the Med. Right, let's go through to uh, week two then. So that will take us from the 26th of April to the 3rd of uh, May. This is how we're looking more unsettled, generally, across Europe. That high pressure is pulling further away into the middle of the Atlantic again and up towards Greenland and Iceland with uh, lower pressure here through much of northern, central and west Europe. There is a ridge over towards the Black Sea. So much of Europe being covered by an area of low pressure and probably pulling down pretty chilly winds into the north and the west of Europe. Uh, anyway, the 500 millibar height anomaly for week uh, two looks like that. Again, showing, the, showing, it, showing it all up quite nicely. Mid-Atlantic ridge heading up towards Greenland and Iceland. Deep area of low pressure, deep trough through northern central West Europe. There is a ridge through these more southern, east and southeast parts of Europe. That will start to draw up something a little bit warmer 
So it's east and southeast parts of Europe, but conversely, northwest Europe likely to be pulling in quite cool or even pretty cold winds from the north. Once again, the uh, week two temperature anomaly looks like that. Overall colder than average in most parts of Europe again from the 26th of April to the 3rd of May. Below average temperatures all the way from western Russia right way over to Ireland, UK, France, Spain, Portugal. Uh, down into the Med, it does get one of the first, further east you go. So through uh, Greece and Turkey, it actually looks quite hot uh, this week. That's where summer's going to be residing. Um, so quite hot there. But overall, quite a cold week actually coming up again uh, for week two across much of uh, Europe. And precipitation wise, looks like that. Maybe not quite as unsettled as you might have thought. So uh, for western areas in the northwest, Overall drier than average, still wet than average in Spain and Portugal. A bit above average in eastern parts of uh, Europe or northeastern Europe. Uh, the southern southeast part of the Meg coming out dry, but average from Black Sea in towards Greece, Turkey, and in southern parts of uh, Italy. A near non precipitation uh, elsewhere. So, uh, perhaps not quite as unsettled as you might have thought, given most of Europe is under what well, is quite a shallow, however, trough of low pressure. Week 3 is the 3rd through to the 10th of May. Um, so weakening signal. Signs of a bit of a change. So low pressure is towards the North Scott now. The Northern Blocking, Greenland Blocking is going. Higher pressure towards sort of uh, Italy and into uh, into the Med, uh, perhaps. So this could be starting to pull the winds back into more of a west, southwesterly uh, for Northern and Western parts. It might be transitioning to something a little bit less cool or cold and uh, perhaps a little bit more unsettled 500 millibar height anomaly for week three just looks a little bit more typical from the third to the tenth of may with lower pressure to the north high pressure is still down here um but i think this could be reverting to a little bit more of a westerly type flow so the temperature anomaly is beginning to uh, warm up. It's still more or less cold than average through northern parts of Europe, but, but nowhere near as widespread and uh, nowhere near uh, as cold, uh, you know, as it is in weeks one and two. Warmest anomalies to average again down in the southern and southeastern part of the Med. Most parts of Europe coming out with above, with uh, near normal temperatures or no signal. And the week three precipitation anomaly, weakening signals, perhaps hints at being a little bit wetter than average still across northern parts of Europe. It's clearly dry than average in the southeast part of Europe, otherwise, no particular signal. We go through to week uh, four, which is going to be the 10th to the 17th of May. Again, quite weak signals with this one. Uh, lower pressure up here, some higher pressure perhaps down towards Spain, otherwise, not much really to work on. Uh, week for 500 millibar height anomaly. Again, just the suggestion that we're reverting to more of a westerly here, I think. Low pressure up towards Greenland and Iceland. The northern blocking is gone. The Azores high starting to try and reach towards the west of Europe. That begins to pull the winds in from the west southwesterly direction and maybe starting to warm up across the western side of Europe. The temperature anomaly looks like that. So still stunningly cool, actually, uh, for, for much of uh, northern Europe. Anyway, slightly below average temperatures there. Warmest anomalies look like they're down in the south, uh, particularly through the Mediterranean. A week for uh, week for precipitation anomaly. Again, it is a weak signal, so a little bit drier than average to our southwest. Perhaps a little bit wet out across the northern parts of Europe. Otherwise, no particular signal. I'll just run you through weeks five and six data. So that's a 30-day look ahead done, uh, 30 day forecast. So I'll just run you through weeks five and six data. So this is week five, uh, mean seal of pressure anomaly, 17th, 24th of May. Maybe showing some higher pressure getting going. Um, to a very weak signal, but some higher pressure getting going across to Germany, France, UK, Ireland. That might bring us our first little spell of summer type weather, although there's not much sign of it on the 500 millibar height anomaly. Uh, is a temperature anomaly lifting up? So trying to lift up a little bit with temperature anomaly across the west of the Europe, but it all looks rather flimsy, doesn't it? And uh, not much signal for precipitation either. And then uh, week six, uh, mean signal pressure anomaly which is the 24th of May to the 31st, last day of May, uh, looks like that. So uh, again, just hints at some higher pressure across these western parts of Europe, perhaps lower pressure up here. Um, so yeah, well, as a transition through May, we, we may get like, uh, as we move from May, we may get like a transition 
draws higher pressure across the west of uh, Europe. 500 millibar high tsunami shows the uh, high pressure more centre towards Spain and some parts of France. However, uh, the uh, week six temperature anomaly gradually is getting warmer across this western side of Europe. Slowly, 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 the temperature is lifting up in West Europe as May uh, progresses. And the precipitation anomaly, again, just seems to be a little bit drier than average. So we could be in for an improving May here. We may start off rather cold, um, you know, uh, across much of Northern Europe and West Europe. It may start off rather cold and unsettled, uh, Miss May, and then gradually get warmer and drier as the month progresses. And maybe, you know, second half of May, we might be able to start thinking about a spell of genuine summer-like weather. It's a possibility. We shall see. Right, so uh, that's it for the ECM uh, WF 30-day forecast slash six-week forecast, um, 42-day forecast uh, for uh, for this Tuesday. We're going to be back later on with your 10 to 14 day, which will include all the regular features, so come back for that then. Uh, for this one, though, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.